Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. This is your next 72 hour psychic predictions. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading future videos. All right, Cancer. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what is happening for the my Cancers, Sun and Rising for the next 72 hours to week ahead. Let's see what's happening. Poor Cancer. What's the main situation? Someone doesn't want you to leave, Cancer. I'm getting. Someone doesn't want you to leave. Um, what's going on? What's their situation? Or you don't want someone else to leave. It could be vice versa. We have done. Hmm. And I was literally just saying, like, um, someone doesn't want you to leave, but you're done. Okay. Clarification. The chariot. The lovers. Okay. Yeah, you're in the next 72 to week ahead. I'm reading yours a little different than how I was reading um, Sagittarius's. <clears throat> yeah, you're you've found your way out of a situation. I'm getting cancer. You found your way out of a situation, but in particular, I'm getting something about someone not wanting you to leave, but you are definitely going to because you are walking into a new life a new situation here and you're like i don't want to i've learned my lesson i've learned my lesson and i'm getting never again i don't know what this is but you're like i've learned my lesson never again interesting let me pull another one let me pull some more And this is in reverse journal, keeping notes, and then see this one the blessing. You know, I'm going to pull some clarifications on this because I want to see what exactly this is. You're like, I'm done. Someone wants you to stay. You're like, I've learned my lesson here. Clarification on the journal. Hit the chariot again. And then we have the moon. Sorry if these things look kind of crazy. Let's put that right there. And then we have the devil right here. I don't know if you guys can hear it outside, but there's like the birds are cheeping. They're like going crazy. Um, and the birds represent communication. So I'm getting also there's something to do with um, you needing to keep notes. You're done. I'm getting cancer. You're done. You've learned your lesson. Someone doesn't want you to leave some type of situation, like I said. But you're having, and, and you're having, I want to say, and you're having um, a lot of communication coming in or thrown at you, cancer. Um, and there's a need for you to keep notes. I have no idea what this is, but this is what I'm getting, the random messages, okay? You're, there's a need for you to keep notes, um, writing. Um, there's something to do with an obstacle with you writing or keeping notes or something like that um, with everything that's going on. Take your time. I'm getting um, that song, Baby, We Can Do It, Take Your Time, Do It Right. But your guys are telling you, take your time and do it right. Um 
when it comes to this information that's coming into you and you're you're like writing something down, but it can be like, okay, now the communication, the, the birds stop. <laughs> so yeah, um, all this communication, you trying to keep um, notes or this information, trying to keep a bunch of notes. They're telling you just take your time and you'll be able to do it. All right. They're also saying it's the final countdown and they're showing me the moon. They're telling me to pay attention to the moon. Um, it's the final countdown for something. Um, so they're telling you to keep going. It's the final countdown. Who is this person that doesn't want you to? Why is there? Why am I feeling like there's a person? Why am I getting that? Who is this that doesn't want cancer to leave? Who is this that doesn't want cancer to leave? Why am I getting this? Cancer, this person has you heavily in their thoughts right here. It's like this person has you heavily in their thoughts because they're stuck with this imprisonment. They're stuck right here. But it's like, Cancer, you've learned some type of lesson or something. Um, I'm also getting karma, something about a karmic cycle or something, something to do with karma. Like you've learned it and you're moving away from it. And this person is just like... Um, They have you heavily in their thoughts. And it's interesting because we have sudden wealth right here. I feel like Cancer, you're about to have like a streak of luck, like some type of sudden sudden melt, melt, <laughs> sudden wealth. And at the bottom of the deck, this may actually shock you. Um, we have official person. And then we have um, a coffin right here. So that tells me there could be like some type of order that's about to happen as well. Some type of order. I'm getting divine order. It says there's some type of divine order. It's something that needs to happen. Good job, Cancer, for learning um, your lesson. Because whatever this is, like you, you've learned your lesson and you're like, you know what? I'm not doing it. And that's what I'm picking up uh, mainly in your next 72 is just you're done. You've completed something and you're moving on. Now, all this information that you have going on, um, this communication, you need to keep up with it. Um, something about keeping up with um, documentation, this information, staying organized. Okay, we have children right here. So, why are children here? Yeah. The Knife of Pentacles. We have the Knife of Pentacles. What I'm getting for your blessing, though, Cancer, in the next 72 to week ahead, um, you guys are going to be um, have this childlikeness um, when it comes to learning. Like you're going to be interested in learning. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting history, and I think Cancers like to um, they get into can Cancers like history. Um, I'm getting something to do with your history. For some of you. But overall, your blessing is through children. You're going to find blessings through children and through a childlike curiosity when it comes to learning. All right. That is where your blessings lie during the next 72 to week ahead. Let me see. I'm also, I don't know why I always get this message. It's so annoying, but um, there's something about someone going to jail. Um. Not you, Cancer. You're not going to jail. I've been getting this kept heavily in Cancer's energy. I think even in Sag's. Um, there's someone going to jail. And when I pulled those cards earlier, I saw like someone thinking of you when we had imprisonment. Imprisonment can literally mean they're going to jail. And maybe they're... Um, They're resentful towards you that you're not <laughs> that you're not in the situation they're in. I'm picking up. Interesting. Let's see what else. What else is happening, Cancer? What else is happening for Cancer in the next 72? Okay. I want to see. So we have 
you're making progress. I see you making steady progress with whatever your goals are. Um, you're making progress, okay? Slowly but surely, you're getting ahead. But there's something here that has you a little um, sad, that has you sad. And I kind of want to see what this is. It has tears. Let's see if these are good tears. Are these... Why do we have tears here? Why do we have tears here? Great personal sorrow for my cancers. I don't know why, but I'm seeing a tooth. Something about someone's tooth um, for someone. Um, something about your tooth. That's just for like a, one person or maybe two people. Um, let's see. Okay, Cancer, what I'm getting right here with the teardrops is, I'm going to be honest here, be careful when, with your finances within the next 72, two week ahead. Just be careful with your spending right here, okay? It's about talking about a potential loss that could happen. So make sure that you're putting your mind in like, putting your mind, putting your money <laughs> um, in the right places. Don't be like overspending and stuff. That's what I'm getting right here. Um I'm also getting a message of cancer. You need to um, really pay attention to who you let in your energy in the next 72, all right? Because there's some type of friend or something like that I'm picking up um, that are some type of toxic relationship that I'm picking up that isn't for you, but you'll already know who it is. I don't want you guys paranoid thinking, oh my God, there's someone toxic and you know they're going to trick me. Someone's going to trick me. No. Because I keep getting like, someone's going to trick me. No, no one's going to trick you, okay? Um, what I'm getting is just, if you have like an intuition when it comes to someone, please listen to that and cut that person off, all right? That's what I'm getting. But yes, overall, you guys are climbing towards the road, to towards the ladder of success. You guys are going to be very successful, even though it seems like it's kind of slow at times. Um, you guys are going to be very successful right here, okay? Let me go ahead and pull another final message and then we'll do some channel messages for you, Cancer, and we'll be done. One final message for Cancer. Attracting, not chasing. All right. It says, attracting, not chasing. I'm going to read it. It says, nothing, it says anything or Everyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So make sure you're not chasing something, okay? Chasing what you want. Just let it come to you. All right, the final message for cancer. Ooh, that just flipped out. We have trust your decisions more. A new soulmate enters your life. It says make sure you get something out of it. Make sure you get something out of it. Also find the beauty in not having a lot and be patient with yourself. All right, Cancer, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe if you really like it, and I'll talk to you guys later.